What's up, everybody? Well, bam. What's goody? We are halfway through the season. That are we? Is yeah. Episode five. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh my god! That's We're halfway crazy. through. Y'all should know who we are by now. But in case you don't, and this is your first time tuning into the Life Is Weird podcast, I'm Gabby. I'm Kels. I'm Sage. And I'm Queso. And you know, we provide everything weird, the weirdest of the weird. Mm -hmm. Today, we're going to be getting into something <laughs> quite juicy. <laughs> Double standards. Well, first, today's acronym for weird is whoo. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello. I get the hell out the of drama. Okay. Listen, uh, y'all know what happens when you let the most dramatic person in the group lead the episode. I got to be dramatic. So, two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is ridiculously defensive. That's the acronym today. Um, because it ties into our episode of Double Standards. Mm. But before we get into that, mm, before we get into that, um, the shameless plug of the day, I have to plug one of my favorite girls, my pageant sister, OG Fab Four for Life, Diamond Bradley, and her brand, The Primary Movement. Hi, Primary Movement, we love you, Diamond. So, The Primary Movement is a creative agency that was created here in Atlanta for black creatives to give them a safe space to be able to express themselves and connect with others. You can find Diamond and The Primary Movement on Instagram at The Primary, P R I M A R Y M O V E M E N T, The Primary Movement. Always primary, never secondary. Ooh. Period. And that's oh, all. Nice. I like that. That's almost like a period. Mary had a yes. on her brand because yeah. that's literally like the tagline. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Diamond. But yeah, yeah, so shout out to you, Diamond. And we're just going to jump straight into it. Today's main topic is double standard. Ooh, ooh. ooh spicy. What's this spicy? about to be? So. Why is it spicy? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know we be referencing TikToks and songs. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I wonder if the older generation like gets it. Like, do they just think like, damn, if you, if you get it, you get it, which is <laughs> weird, or, or what? But yeah, weird. Um, yeah. So weird. you know, we changed up locations on y'all because. If we're you're the, listening, we're in a different yeah, space. Yeah, if you're listening, we're in a different <laughs> space. What Drake say? 50 niggas moved out of change. Okay, was that Drake or Future? Girl. It was Future on Drake's song. Yeah. <laughs> that, was do, that was verse. like the joint album? Yeah. Um, was it the joint album? What I a think time. So. Yeah. yeah. Mm, what a time. What a time. <laughs> the times. Okay, but the times now that we're going to get into is the present day. So, what's y'all's view on gender roles in today's society? I think they're changing as the times go on. Uh, I think, mm -hmm. in a general sense, it's <laughs> bullshit. I just feel like everybody pitch in where they pitch in and fit in where they fit in. I don't mm -hmm. like that whole, well, you're a woman, you do this. I do what I want. And I work with my partner. And that's it. As long as we got a little working together, you know. So you taking out the trash? No. Uh. <laughs> not because it's a gender role. Just because I'm not doing that shit. Yeah. But see, someone like me, I don't mind taking out the trash. So, like, going back to what Kelsey says, I feel like it depends on whatever works for you in your relationship. Yeah. Definitely agree that gender roles are changing. We're definitely not our grandparents. And, like, yeah. I feel like they, you know, were very strict where it was like, okay, you know, a woman's place was in the kitchen. Even some of our parents. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and some of the parents. But mm -hmm. things are definitely changing. And I feel like our generation is becoming more of the generation where it's like, okay, we're going to define what gender roles look like for us. Because like right, I said, it's yeah. different in every relationship. Like, I don't mind taking out the trash, but one thing I will not be doing is mowing the lawn. Yeah. <laughs> that is one yeah, thing I, I will not be doing. Yeah. I, not the lawn. Yeah. I just genuinely don't like taking out the trash. Yeah. So, like, I, you know, I call dibs on something that's not that. Right. And as far as the lawn goes, we can just hire somebody because... Oh. <laughs> so, you know, like, okay, money. <laughs> and we can just do it like that. And I just will just go back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but generals, so I mean, they're definitely still a thing that you see. Like, I know y'all see people and like posts on Instagram and stuff like that. And people, you know, leading these think pieces and stuff like that on um, social media talking about, oh, the women should be doing this or shouldn't be doing this. The mm -hmm. man should be doing this, shouldn't be doing that. Um, and then there's like those jokes of people saying, um, 
what I miss women would build houses and stuff or something yeah. like that. Oh, okay, right. you know, it's a comeback like, can you build a house? <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm not mad at that one though because Wait, what was it? like, like she she said like why why don't men why don't build, build houses like, no more and stuff like that? Like handyman. Yeah, you yeah. Know, like oh, we were talking about that at work today. I think just basically, you know, some yeah. of the guys now. Y'all be a little sassy. Uh-uh. The niggas so ain't being called sassy. sassy. And, yeah, and I really don't sassy. care. We just ain't Bro. said y'all was oh sassy. Oh, no, <laughs> seriously. The <laughs> niggas gonna hate us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said what I said. Stop being sassy. You don't like being so sassy. But, okay, anyways, I think that gender roles are still kind of a thing sometimes. Um, but just not, you know, obviously not as common as they once were. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't, I don't believe on, I don't, I don't believe in them. So I don't believe in them for the most part. So you am I gonna take out the trash? No. You making your man's plate every night? Um, mm. probably. Mm. I was gonna say I gotta. You know we got a backstory. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I remember that. Yeah, no. I, I probably won't be doing that. No, that, not I, making I, your man's plate. I don't, I don't see that in that. my ministry. What? <laughs> what the fuck? What? Yeah, no. Why? Why won't you make your man's I plate? Oh, well, I guess it depends on the setting. Like, if we're on like a, maybe like around my family, so to like show a, off. my kind of family type of thing, then maybe. <laughs> yeah, I guess to show so, off. But like in just regular, like if I'm making dinner at the house, mm-hmm. come make you a plate. Would you feel a way though if he didn't make you a plate ever, or are you like, well, I'm not doing it for you, so I don't expect it in return. I feel like it should be kind of the same. Like, mm-hmm. um, I get that. Yeah, I feel like it should be the same. Like, if we're in maybe his family setting, you're like around his people. Mm-hmm. You could offer it, but then I could also make my own plate because I know what I like. <laughs> so yeah. if we're both working, it's buffet style. Everybody make their own plate. If I mean, you over and the age of seven, no, nah. ten because like, little Nick, they be making messes in the kitchen. I'm like, I think I'm a mix of both like i'm i guess you could say modern with traditional values Mm -hmm. in Mm -hmm. a way so like kind of what you know both of you guys were saying um or really all three of you when it comes to gender roles like i don't think anybody should have a definitive role like Mm -hmm. okay this is what you need to do and this is where your place is but i feel like sometimes having some sort of role established in your relationship is necessary like everybody does have a role to play so if i come home late from work and you got home before me you shouldn't be looking at me asking me where the food at nigga you was home (laughs) before me yeah you were home before me so like it should be a give and take like a balance type of thing like if you know Today's going to be a busy day for me, then just go ahead and like pick up the slack, have that open communication and stuff like that. But when it comes to, I guess, like, I don't know, like being around my family, especially around in like Caribbean households, I guess you could say, especially the elders, they're very traditional. So like I've never when I really think about like my grandma and my grandpa on my mom's side, I've never seen my grandpa make his plate. Oh, no. Yeah. Like, this, like Southern, you know, we live in Georgia, so like Maybe, Southern hospitality, yeah. especially them old Southern heads, yeah. like like I've never seen yeah. that. That's a thing, making your man's plate, yeah. which I don't mind, but I, like you said, <laughs> and in moderation. In, in moderation. moderation. Not even that. Just don't get carried away. Down. I'm the one tired, and I'm the one getting home. Like, everybody should be taking care of each other. Yeah, that's what I think. It yeah, is. like as long as I feel like it doesn't become like a expectation, like yeah. you have to do this, and if I don't do it, now you're up in mm. arms. Then, yeah. then I don't mind. But I do feel like when I am around, I guess like my family members and stuff. So like, okay, when my boyfriend came for the holidays and everything, since he's considered a guest, he wasn't about to just go in the fridge and like get right. food or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I would right. be like, okay, mm-hmm. like what you want to eat, like make his plate. And right. he was, ooh, he was eating it up. And I was like, okay, not too much, <laughs> not too much. He was like, you should be doing this while we back back in Georgia. And I was like, mm, relax, 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 relax. <laughs> but special occasion. You know, everything I think, like you guys said, in moderation. Okay, so mm-hmm. since we was kind of talking about men, um, you know, you kind of hear people say like certain things define what makes a man a man which is you know that's kind of like how do you how can you say that and that's subjective but money is something that always comes into play Mm -hmm. when talking about what makes a man a man Mm -hmm. so do you guys think that money defines how much of a man somebody is and if so do you have like 
a preferred salary range? Would you be okay with your, your man making less money than you? Like, mm -hmm. how y'all feel about that? I feel like it's easy for us as women to say we don't care, but men, I think they do care. I think they take it to heart with their own salary and how much they're making. And I think they do look at it as a big factor. Like, okay, what is it that I'm contributing? What is it that I'm bringing to the table? Like, is money one of them? But I feel like as women, or maybe I'm just speaking for myself, but especially in our generation, I feel like we're veering away from that where it's like, okay, I don't care if you make more money than me, but do you have enough money to take care of yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have enough money to pay your own bills? Mm -hmm. Do you have enough money to take care of yourself? If we go on a trip, do you have money to still cover yourself? You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's what's important to me. I don't care about if a man makes more money than me. I'm not looking at that as something that will define him. But do you have enough money to take care of yourself is my biggest thing. I feel like in our generation, no, yeah, for sure. <laughs> in our generation, I agree. A lot of us are, are like, you know, um, you know, just kind of like veering away from general gender roles yeah. a lot. Like, I wouldn't even say for the most part because then there's also the other half of our generation uh, talking about my man needs to have this so he can buy me this and do this for <laughs> And me. don't have nothing to give. And it. don't have anything to but give. And that's, I feel like, gotten a lot, I'll say what I'm <laughs> a lot worse. Like, it's been, it's been progression and, like, some... Re Regression. I guess regression yeah. in that yeah. in that sense too, because you know the whole city girl um, era movement mentality shit like that. Yeah. There's a <laughs> lot of women out here that definitely um, define men by how much money they have for sure. Mm -hmm. And my it bothers me when women do that because I'm like. Before you had a man, were you able to pay for your own nails? No. no and facts. for your own hair? No. You was broke. Out here looking dusty. You know and what I'm rusty saying? And crusty. But then there's there there are some women that would be like, I mean, I could do it for myself, but I want my man to have all this too. So, I, I mean, there's some out there that I feel like probably could do it for themselves. I appreciate that. But yeah, I respect that. Yeah. There are a lot who have not are like completely dependent. ever done anything for themselves. Completely dependent, like fully and always have been. Mm -hmm. Going from their father to their man, pretty yeah. much. So... I just yeah. wasn't raised like that. Because it's like, I get it. I, I can't speak for the girlies who was Girl. in two parent households. But I just feel like I, of course, I want to be taken care of. But it's like, also, if a man's not in my life, I can pay for my own deal. Yeah. yeah. I can pay mm -hmm. for my own hair. And if yeah. he come in and he want to do so, I'm going to tell you. Great, no. baby. I'm not going to say no. But it's yeah. like, mm -hmm. I just don't like, no, I don't think money defines a man. I think. It sets the standard of, I guess, what society would call what kind of caliber of a man he is. Mm -hmm. But in my personal opinion, like you said, okay, so like, even if you make less than me, you can take care of yourself. You straight, you, you're well off, like you're cool. I don't care. Like, mm -hmm. it's cool with me. You know, I plan on us both being successful. We can build together. Like, that's yeah. cool. But mm -hmm. yeah, for all them little delusional girls out there, y'all probably gonna eat me up, but... <laughs> Y'all can talk about be small all y'all want. She do be saying some stuff. But when she said, ladies, let's level up, I didn't think it was nothing wrong with that. Because I just don't understand how some women could have nothing to bring to the table but vagina. But, right. And it's like, you know, he he can get that anywhere else. Like, okay, yeah. what do you like what do you do? What are your yeah. dreams? What, yeah. what what can you provide other than laying on your back? Yeah. Mm. I said what I said. Yikes. So spicy. <laughs> What about you, Gabby? Yeah. Um, I need a nigga who goes right there and visa. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Please. Um, Are you? I am. Because <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, like, anything that I feel like I have, like, growing up, I've been taught, like, to work hard. Like, work mm -hmm. ethic and something is something... It's something that's been instilled in me since I was younger. And not necessarily, like you're not even always working hard to make money, but like working hard to be happy. Yeah. So like when it comes to making money or having a partner um, that has money, I look more so to see like if I'm fulfilled like internally, like mm. are you making me happy? Are we comfortable with what we have? Can we come together with what you have and what I have and make something happy? Like can we make a house a home? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, more some money is is it's good. I'm a course. lot happier mm -hmm. with some money, money in my pocket. pocket. Of course, of course. they not. not. Who's not? I'm not saying we're about to sit Absolutely. here and build a house off of uh, love and rainbows and potential and everything like. Because we no, need some money. we we're gonna yeah. need some money to you know make things shake. But I feel like 
when you have a good partner and you like invest in each other like a little bit can go a long way absolutely so i feel like if you invest other things other than like not even just money but like time in each other mm -hmm. and like support your partner's dreams and things like that like if you take the time out to pay attention to little things like that um that's really where it counts and the money will come like if you guys are really walking in your purpose and like planting those seeds like preach, we preacher. always say mm -hmm. like preach preach <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. then if you Jesus. continue to like plant those seeds and everything they will they will flourish and if you guys are a unit and work together then like I think I forgot what show it was I think it was a different world it was like a man who's ambitious um is never broke or Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, because she was, I think. Yeah. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. You know that? Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. But that's how I feel about it. Um, for the most part, I mean, if you if you want to spend a check, I'm not going to tell you no. Because right. if I can spend your money and I'm my own, it's shit. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm not going to say no. It is nice to be spoiled, but I also like yeah. to do the spoiling. So. Yeah. Mm. And there are also just personal things, like, just to piggyback off of that, like, I love to spoil and I love to be spoiled, but there are certain goals that I have for myself. Like, my next car, I want a Jeep and I want to buy that for myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. one of my guy friends was like, well, what if your man want to buy it for you? It's not about if he wants to or not. Like, if he wants to, thank you, but that's a personal goal that I just say, if you want to buy me other stuff, you yeah. can yeah. Right. But that's just, I have my own personal yeah. goals too. And I with don't, or without a man. And that's right. the thing. I and feel it like people, to do with yeah. Man. It has just everything to do with, okay, I made right. it mm -hmm. to this level in my life where I can take care of myself and do that. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I don't yeah. think there's nothing wrong with that. So what do you say to those people who are like, because society's role or idea of like what a man is, the man's, I guess, traditional role from a societal standpoint is being the provider the breadwinner so the breadwinner all that stuff so what would you say to those people who like as we're talking about you know having goals for ourselves and wanting to do things for ourselves that we're too much of like a miss independent so if you're always doing stuff for yourself mm -hmm. then what role does the man serve in your mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. um well one is 2023 let's stop <laughs> being the lulu shall we um, um the man was the breadwinner because women couldn't do anything in society for themselves. We mm -hmm. couldn't own land without, we couldn't own land. We couldn't vote. Um, and then when we could vote, we had to be married. And then when the white women could vote, we couldn't vote. So it's like mm -hmm. a lot of the, the man was the breadwinner because he had to be, because that's what society said he had to be. Yeah. And our jobs were very limited as women. Yeah. Very yeah. much so. Yeah. A lot of us were homemakers because we had to be. A lot of us mm -hmm. stayed in. Our grandmamas was in these, these, because I see a lot of, oh, well, my grandmama this. She stayed in that relationship nine times out of ten because she couldn't leave. What was she going to do? Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially being a black woman, what were we going to do? Yeah, right. Nothing. Thanks. So I think what it is is like the man doesn't have to be the breadwinner nowadays. I know that if a male's ego, I'll never understand it. I never will. But I feel like Ever. we're in an age now where... I have my own dreams and it's nothing about me just trying to be Miss Independent. No, that's just something that I grew up wanting to do. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do this since I was a little girl before mm -hmm. I even liked boys. Mm -hmm. So it's like, or it's just, this is something that I picked up. This is something that I want to achieve or accomplish by myself. It doesn't have to be me just trying to be Miss Independent. No, I'm following mm -hmm. my own dreams. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that does, that's not to say like, I can't be with a man who's also following his own dreams mm -hmm. and we can grind together. Yeah. Going in, in different pathways career wise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> career wise. I just feel like mm -hmm. people be so set on, well, what's the man supposed to do? Follow his dreams. Yeah. yeah. If what does he want to do in life? I want my man to have his own goals and ambitions. Mm -hmm. If if mm -hmm. my man if a man is just living to be like, okay, well, I'm just the provider. Well, what do you like to do? What are your hobbies? What do you want to yeah. do in the yeah. next ten mm -hmm. years? other than be a, a, a husband and a dad. Yeah. Yeah. And if that's and all you want to do, that's cool. Then you need to be with someone who only wants to be a wife and a mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if you just want to be a husband and a dad and I'm trying to be on Broadway, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm going to be on Broadway. Period. It's that simple. I don't want to be on Broadway. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. Right. For the, for yeah. the, for the sake of the, the yeah, argument. But no, for real, like... <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I feel like it's literally that simple, though. Like, if this is not the type of woman that you feel like you need or want, then that's just what it is. Like, seek, seek elsewhere. 
And there's plenty of women who are happy, who like, who literally strive, they, all they want to do is be a stay at home mom. And that's great. And shout out to them because if that's what you want to do, there's nothing wrong with that. Right. Everybody mind their business. (laughs) You don't have to dog women who, you know, don't choose that lifestyle in the process Mm -hmm. because they want to, they want to, you know, do for themselves and be more independent. Like, man. That's the thing (laughs) though. I think like how you said, like, it's just that simple, like pick somebody who y'all are on the same playing field or like get a partner, Mm -hmm. y'all are on the same playing field. I feel like, I feel like when it comes to love or like choosing a partner and stuff like that or somebody that you're gonna settle down and provide with, truthfully speaking, I feel like women are the ones who pick people or pick men or whoever their partner is out of love. And I feel like men sometimes choose their partner based off of convenience like for Mm. i don't want to say settling but you know women we're more inclined to get with somebody who we actually i don't want to say actually like but yeah (laughs) (laughs) we actually like for real and sometimes i think men if they get to because okay for men like I've noticed when a guy is in grind mode mm-hmm. and he's in grind mode Child, like for real tunnel vision. tunnel vision to the point where it don't matter what girl like what woman comes his way there is no breaking his focus yeah women mm-hmm. we most can men. we can yeah most yeah, and this yeah. is not like <laughs> not this is not all but like a decent amount of like men no, yeah, who mm-hmm. I know that can really that are like really on their grind and are like really focused and stuff like that mm-hmm. there is no breaking At their all. their train this, of thought there's right. there in tunnel vision bad focus like on yourself, for baby real girl. they're really <laughs> but focus on in yourself. tunnel vision there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that but i feel like some of them be they're toxic. so like constant they're constantly say okay i'm gonna just give an example say say you're 25 right as a man and you're in grind mode for four years because you have mm. certain goals you want to reach say you go to grad school say you do xyz whatever you start your own business, whatever. Now you set yourself up because they say sometimes like your 20s is supposed to be you setting yourself up to live the life you really want to live in your 30s. So now you're setting yourself up. Is it? That's what I, I, I heard. I've heard people say that's that. What I, that's, that's what I heard. Like, that's, that's, you don't have to build that's what I heard. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. But like, I, I know, love that. I love that. Um, that you know, oh. I, that's what's supposed to be. That's what that's I heard. That's what I'm doing now. But um, that is supposed to be. Good. <laughs> so yeah. like, you're doing all this. So you're setting yourself up. Now you're 29, right? You've been in grind mode, tunnel vision, whatever. You haven't been on the dating scene. Yeah. All this stuff, but you know for a fact, like you want a family, you want to settle down and stuff like that. So then you meet a girl, she's nice, she seems like she would be a good wife and everything. You have love for her, but you don't really like love, love for her real. for real. Like you're not like deep in it, like your heart's not deep, deep in it. Like how it would be for us, like madly in love. So you marry her and everything, mm. and now y'all have a home and everything. and it's convenient for you to still be like in grind mode and provide and everything because you're with somebody that you have love for, but you're not like deep in love with. So I feel like when it comes to picking like partners that, you know, are going to be there to like provide for you and stuff like that, women, we will lean on like genuine love sometimes. And I feel like guys, sometimes they just will settle for like or pick Whoever's somebody out of convenience in the moment, when in the moment. and i've yeah. heard people say that most I've, guys yeah most or a de- uh, an amount there is an amount out there <laughs> like i don't know i don't know what percentage but even like i think i heard a podcast or um read a post or something about that and this there were these two guys at the bar and he was like talking about his wife and he was like yeah you know she's like she's cute like she's cool oh my Never. God. and the way he was talking about her it was like damn is this is even your wife? is this your wife is that your wife that's your that's your like no, and it was just kind of like <laughs> That's I don't know. I like, would not want my man to be like yeah she cute or whatever what's she right but then my it's like bombastic. <laughs> if we as women if we do the same thing like on the flip side and like go into grind mode for however many years and everything and now we're like okay we want to settle down and have a family and stuff like that it's so much harder for us like we it have is. we have to be able to multitask mm-hmm. and we do juggle 
being in grind mode and stuff like that and looking for yeah, love and like mode. because they always say like yeah we can pick who we date but men choose who they marry that's because, hard and it i mean i'm not gonna disagree with that because mm. it's true you can but that's very true though. you getting down mm-hmm. on one knee yeah, nah, it's not <laughs> like fine. I'm good on that. That's I'm one good. double stand. That's Man, y'all one, can have that. That's one gender role. I will. <laughs> I would gender. gladly leave to y'all. I, ain't never, <laughs> I am not proposing. Okay, so that leads into our next question. Are there any double standards that you guys agree with, such as like girls shooting their shot, a guy who finds a wife proposing, you know, like that type of thing? He who I finds agree. a wife. <laughs> I'm like sorry. I said, oh, okay. No, go ahead. And I was just gonna say one of the like the biggest thing is yard work. Like I do not mm. as a as a woman, I'm sorry, but I do not plan on doing much yard. I, I can have my own little garden. You know, yeah, I can have my own little garden. garden. But like like I said, shit like mowing the lawn. If it's not one of them little ride-ons, I'm not mowing the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I am not mowing the lawn. I'm sorry, but I'm not yeah, mowing no. the lawn if it's not one of them no, little ride-ons. Lawn. Yard work in general. Cause I just have you smelt a man come inside from mowing the lawn? I'd be like, they shower stink. right now. Stink. <laughs> that is like, a dog. Wet dog. Wet dog. So bad. Ooh. You want just, me to go outside? Now I know what like our parents meant when they would be like, you smell like outside. Oh, yeah. I'd be like, what is that? Yeah, now I know. That's Dirt, outside. grass, oh, wet dog. like fun. <laughs> yes. So I, I don't want to do yard work. I, nah. I will say one of the gender roles I don't agree with is like the whole cooking thing. And I feel like that's been something embedded in our society so long. Like even the whole thing where it was like, don't buy your uh, male kids a, cu- a kitchen set. You yeah. know? And it's like, why not? You know what I'm saying? Like we talked oh, about right before, now, like growing up, it was always woman in the kitchen, but that's something that a man can do too. Men can cook. And Absolutely. I know some men who, I mean, I don't know men. There, well, there are literally do. some households uh, where the man cooks. Like the man is the one who can cook. I don't not the one who like, Chef up better than some of these females. Cooking is a basic yeah, life skill. Bro. Right. Christy and them. You know? Mm-hmm. So, oh, yeah. Christy, Sarah. Yeah. Her man be chefing down. Yeah. But I think he's actually a chef. I think so. I think that's how the, part of, part of the reason why they got famous. But cooking is a basic yeah. life skill, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Little Bill got Sam throw down. Do he? Like, really? really? Boy, what? Oh, Sam wow. is her man, by the way. Yeah. My man, my man, my man. He throws down. Bro, Sam actually enjoys cooking. Like he said, if he didn't go into our program to get his MPH, He'll he would go, go to culinary school. Well, I, guess I love that. And, he can still go. And I love to eat so much. I said, baby, I'll fund it. <laughs> so I will dead. fund it. That is eat. a dream. I will No, like, I'm you. not even yeah. going to hold you. Like, if I'm over there or something and I wake up, he'll literally come to me and be like, what do you want to eat today? Aww. And I just be like, I said, can we be one of them TikTok people where I say whatever I want to eat and then you just you bring pass it to me the plate? plate? <laughs> he was like, nah, like, you're doing too much. Like, wow. But no, Seriously. he That's actually <laughs> likes to cook. Like, he made this Cajun pasta one time Ooh. it was really good and then you know the new york in me i was like i was like damn i want a chopped cheese i knew and you was gonna say a damn chopped cheese yes it was like it's like a sandwich i know you're about to i know it. what it is okay <laughs> you heard of it. You was looking confused yeah, i've heard i've heard, I've heard okay. that. yeah yeah you was looking like what's the chopped cheese? i'm from new york <laughs> i'm from new york okay whatever what do yeah. they call the chopped cheese in london girl an uh, english <laughs> muffin <laughs> what <laughs> What is chopped cheese? I don't know what chopped cheese is. It's like a sandwich. It's like, like a, a Philly cheesesteak type of sandwich? Yeah. yeah. It's a Philly cheesesteak? Close enough. Yeah. Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pretty similar. Okay. Oh. Sorry, back. Double standards but, we agree with or disagree. Uh, but I do agree with you. I'm not I'm not cutting the lawn. I'm, I'm not, not doing, doing it. I'm not taking out the trash. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not doing that. That is something I won't do. I'm not doing Y'all going to be taking out the trash in y'all own no. home? I'll, I'll take out the trash. I have a I'll take out my little trash, but like kitchen trash, like that kind of trash, I can't. I don't have the stomach for it. Like what? if I live by myself, yeah, but I if have for it. so, what are you gonna do when you live by yourself? I don't know. There's a lot of things. <laughs> you have a bunch of small trash cans. That's all I got. There's a lot Literally of things I don't know. I don't kill. I don't kill <laughs> bugs that are too large. Bugs. I don't kill bugs that are. That's too a good large. one. Killing bugs and insects in the house. Care. I will definitely call on a man to do that. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm if you a man, anybody to do that. I don't if you a man and I tell you to kill this bug and you jump. If I you that's gonna come kill me. this bug, yeah. I don't care who you are. That's not even yeah, a gender. Sure. I just don't do insects. Yeah. We I don't, don't be do talking insects. about the stuff we agree with. Oh, yeah. oh. We're not disagree. <laughs> we, we like I'm not doing that. <laughs> not doing that. He gotta cook too. <laughs> no, that means that we do agree with it. We do agree with that. I'm not standard. proposing either. They should be doing it. They should be okay. killing bugs. Yeah. They okay. should okay. be taking care of bugs. And then there's certain like chivalrous things like you should be opening my door. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, for sure. You know. I agree with that. I wonder if men like receiving flowers. <gasps> I saw a video about this. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a video about this. God, what's their response? And I it was a video. Do. Of just women, like, it was a bunch of black men, and they were giving them flowers, and they were just kind of like, oh, mm-hmm. snap, like, like, one dude kind of, like, teared up. He was like, oh, I've never, like, Aww. received, because they don't. Yeah. And some men, like, I know, I've talked to some of my guy friends, and they're like, I don't care about that shit. But there are men who, like, they may not really care, but then I but think the gesture. moment, receiving mm-hmm. it, it was just yeah. like, oh, damn, like, they may not even realize that they do care. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So it's like, that's one thing, like, I'm, give my baby some flowers. Yeah. But yeah. like you said, there are men who are like, do not buy me yeah, flowers. Yeah, they don't, don't fuck with mm. it. Do not they buy me flowers. flowers. Yeah. You just, it's interesting. It depends on a man, I love but flowers. that was a but touching a lot video. Of, a, a lot of women don't like flowers too. A lot of just people in general don't like flowers. But I don't know for the same reason as like men like that. Mm. But Chase, do you like receiving flowers? No, it melt my heart. Aww. Chase said, Chase is our videographer. He said it'll melt his heart. That's sweet. Aww. I think maybe you should start buying my nigga straight ass face. That'll melt my heart. <laughs> when I get it, <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm, maybe we should I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna ch- try it and see what oh, happens. Is that that'll be our homework? We all like buy yeah. all. find a man and just buy a find a man. <laughs> I gotta find him first. <laughs> that one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> And give him flowers. Yeah. Aw, do that today. Flowers. Yeah, that would be Do good. that today. Buy your man some flowers. And they just send your thing they don't like them, you didn't get it. You said $10? Send me, send me $20. Oh. <laughs> I'm putting my cash out right now. But, um, you like why do we say we want to get want the money and not the flowers? You said send, them to, send us $20. <laughs> See? I'm send really... me $20 so I can get you the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't think Wait, of any other. For what? Don't worry about it. So I could buy you flowers. I would really like, you know, the the flowers, not just the ones you get like at the grocery store, but the ones that come in like the little, the, the round. Uh, it's oh, not it's the pot. Flowers. Or not. A, it's not a pot. It's like a container. Those forever oh, flower things. Those, yeah, like those forever flower things. They're like expensive. Oh, the big like, circle thing. Like the big circle containers, mm-hmm. like full of like the roses. roses. Gotcha. Yes. Those. Okay. That yeah. are like all one color. Yeah. I don't know Put why. Some dollar like, bills around it. I got that. Would y'all propose to your husband? No. No. Okay. no. Absolutely not. Oh, a double standard no. that we do not agree with? Okay. okay. That's oh, one no. double standard. Oh, no, that we do y'all agree with. Y'all can keep men. Yeah, that yeah. we do agree with. Sign he who finds a wife. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. I can't <laughs> think of any else. Though. I would say, Kelsey, did you say one that you actually agree with? Like a double standard that you actually. I think we all said mowing the um, lawn, yeah. yard work. work. Unless, like I not said, I'm on one of them little tra- trailers. I'm not doing it. Track the trailer. Whatever that shit is. <laughs> John Deere. Or something. It's just, yeah, it's just a sitting lawnmower. <laughs> oh my God. Um, that I do agree with. Yeah. I think the. Um... Wait. Anytime? Just, I'm not proposing. So I, okay. I agree with men proposing. Yeah. How do you feel also, about shooting a shot? I shoot it because I shot it and it went in. I okay, shot. Then. I'd like I to gladly shot my shot. I gave him like the, the like, pass to make the layup. It. So you the you the girl who gonna like like all before. the pictures? And oh, that's exactly me. what I did actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't do that. That's, that's what, what I, I do. She said exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then, this one got me a lot of. Oh wait, no, that's not what I did. I'm tripping. He liked my pictures and I sent. No, no, no. What happened? No, yeah, I did like all the pictures. I did, I did. You liked all the pictures? I hate when niggas Not do all that. his pictures. I think That's I like like boy. three. Because I think he only he had like three on his profile. And I just I'm like, like nigga, all see it with your chest. What, what you want? <clears throat> yeah. I have to open the doors. Oh, open the doors. doors. No, I feel like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn, he said, jump and said hi. For the listeners. Oh, hi. Okay, so stood up to go open the door. I thought he was getting hot. I was like, wait a minute, open the door. For our listeners. I actually so asked us. <laughs> Well, Chase on, asked us, because well, how do we feel about opening doors? Well, hold on, because I didn't get my other thing out. I'm going to shoot my shot and tell a little joke, and they laugh. You're cute. Here's my number. It's worked for me. Oh, God. Multiple. I'm hilarious. And yeah. it's worked for me. Huh. Huh. Okay, baby. Huh. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't mind opening doors. I just never get the chance, because like, they'll be like, move. What are you I doing? mind. I mind. You better smack my hand out of the way. You better yeah. do it real hard no, and, I'm not even and look lie. me in the eyes and be like, don't touch that door. And yeah. I'm be like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I just don't realize I'm doing it because I'm just used to just doing stuff mm-hmm. by myself. Yeah. So I just be walking up, opening That's the door, me. and they be like, no, move. And I'm just like, what yeah. you doing? Oh, my bad. Yeah. I'm, just like, I'm just trying to go get a smoothie, bro. Please. If you don't try to open... If you don't try to open the door for me or like if we're walking like down the street and you don't... Or like on the sidewalk and you don't switch sides with me, 
I that's kind of a red flag for me in a way. Now the sidewalk thing, I'd be like, so you don't mean to be safe? Yeah, like I just be waiting. Like I'll I'll look. I'll just look at them and be like, <laughs> if not, I'll move. Like I want I'll them move. to know that I noticed that they didn't do it, and yeah. I'll be like, and I'll put. You know how like they do the hand on the waist. Mm -hmm. I hit them with the hand on the waist. Oh. I'll be like, here you go. And that's gonna make them feel the guy. They gonna feel bad. Sassy, sassy. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. What you doing? Nothing. No, what are you yeah. doing? But no. I'm probably not gonna open the door if I'm with a man. You know when you walk in, like you walking up to the door, you kind of just slow do down, a little, a little drawback, yeah. so they can reach it first. Yeah, that's what I do for sure. Yeah, that's uh, for sure for sure. Y'all paying the bill on the first date? On the first? Who date? asked? He asked me on the date. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I shouldn't. He asked me on the date. I'll bring money. I never go on a date empty-handed. But mm -hmm. like, if you ask me on a date, you're paying for the. I'll date. tip. I'll be like, you sure. and I'll, I ask, I'll be like, do you want me to send you money to tip? Or like, you know, I have cash, I'll tip, like, I'll do that. But like, if you're asking me on the date, especially if it's the first date, I do expect you to pay. Mm -hmm. Cause I'll have money. I'm not paying if this was your idea. But I'll have That's, money. That's just mine. I feel like I haven't been on a lot of like first dates, like actual okay. dates for real, for real. But yeah, me too. I just haven't been I'm in the mindset afraid. to like think to, to pay. Like it's just for <laughs> automatic, just cause I haven't been on that many at all. You know, when I really sit back, and think about in my memory. Yeah. I think like niggas weren't taking us out on dates and college. No. no, we was going to the dining hall. Yeah, or going to their room. Yeah, want to come over? Want to come over? <laughs> like chill, catch a vibe for real. And I'm just vibing. Like, vibe with your homies. Vibe with your homies. Your ass is not just vibing. Vibe with your homies. It's just ooh. Okay. I mean, granted, we just was broke in college. That's the thing. Yeah, that's why I was like, I didn't expect dudes what it to is. be able to do this big extravagant thing when you eating ramen noodles for a living, just like me. So I don't. Yeah, no. But damn, like, we can walk no. around. We can, go to, we the can park. go to the park. Yeah, no. I'm that's talking true. about like. I'm gonna take you out. Let's go get dinner, type stuff. Oh yeah, because like, you gotta really pay for it. In the same yeah. boat as me, yeah. I didn't expect yeah. that in college. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. no. Nah. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. sense. Yeah. So, yeah. do y'all think that um, women are really seen as equal to men? No, 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 not at all. We want to be, but yeah. no, we're not. I don't think. Honestly, I think there's a lot because like we do a lot of diversity and inclusion in my job, and I think there's a lot of doors opening and differences and, and people being seen but mm -hmm. i genuinely in my heart don't feel like men especially older men take us seriously mm -hmm. i don't mm -hmm. and i think we think that they do or we think that they're supposed to because that's what they're supposed to do now but i think in the back of their mind they're like mm, let's just be politically correct mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we don't get in trouble they try to they try to i feel like they try to make um women equal to men in the most like unfavorable Stupid situations ways. like oh yeah. but i thought we were supposed to be equal like men i've seen plenty of men try to use that line like i'm trying to think of a situation where they've tried to use like that fighting i guess i've seen that on TV. yeah i guess right. so yeah. oh no but if if he hit her that, right. that no one that, should be putting their yeah, hands on facts, anybody facts, facts, i don't facts, care facts, if you're a facts, woman facts. i don't care if you justify it by well he's a man no keep your hands yeah, to yourself yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because if he do end up slapping you up, now you mm -hmm. oh my god! Now you're upset. Yeah. Yeah. Don't put your hands on nobody. Men definitely don't put your hands on nobody because you mm -hmm. are physically stronger. No one put their hands. Everybody keep their hands on their hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I be it be men on the internet really like but but I thought y'all want to be equal. It's like, yeah, in the yeah. workforce, idiot. Yeah. I'm about to say I feel like when we say we want equality, it's more so in the workplace. Yeah. It's more so in pay. In my bank account. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, with bodies. salary. You know what I'm saying? But like there is certain shit where like some people be making arguments, and I'm just like you just arguing just to argue because yeah. you know exactly like you know you're yeah. reaching. You know right. you're reaching. Like people when we say bitter. we want equality, it's no, in the workplace. Baby. It's we want same pay for doing the same exact job that y'all niggas be doing. Exactly. You know, we want the right to our if I'm not getting paid as much as you. Our bodies. That part. Yeah. What about she said having the right. We want to... the right like to our bodies. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. Like, yeah. You can't have a say on what I choose to do with my body. We'll never be and equal you... until that shit is like literally, not a thing. You don't even go through what I go yeah. through yeah. every month. You literally do not have the genitalia that I have between my legs, but you have but the you say. But you have the say? Hilarious. That's a whole nother conversation. Crazy. Crazy. That's, that might be an episode for real. Oh, Something along like those lines. Child. Yes. Politics are weird. Yeah. Child. Child. Politics yeah. are fake. It. Hella weird. That's what that is. <laughs> but no, we definitely should be equal. I feel like we should be held at a higher standard, but I mean, I guess equal would be sufficient, would be better than where we are now. How are you standard into what regards? Like in general or like in certain? Just in general. I just feel like women are just better overall. I think we're just better. Women are the prize. What? Men aren't the prize? 
<laughs> Man, the price? They will definitely yeah. argue down and say they're oh, the price. I think we need each other. Yeah. I think I, we need I mean, each other. Uh-oh. Like, we can uh-oh. say, that's you. Uh-oh, say, I think we child. need each other. Because y'all can sit there and say what you say if you want to. Of course, we're like, you know. I think we need each other. Reproducing Period, and point stuff, blank. but. Okay. I feel like women are the brains. Yeah, we are. Like we really it, just generally like it, are just smarter beings, I think, in a lot of ways. Like when it comes to households and stuff like that, like you can be, you can be the man of the house, but I'm the brains of the house. That's, and without oh. me, like without me, and just so you know, Chase is nodding his head. Yeah, our videographer <laughs> he, is nodding correct. his head yeah. as yeah. an intellectual that. black man. So there we go. Yeah. Okay. Period. But honestly and truly, like if you, if as a man. Like, if you're providing in the house and stuff like that, and you, you know, you want to carry out your duties, whatever. Stroke your man's ego. Yeah. Just let him do it. You know, you want to carry out your duties, all that stuff. That's cool. But if a woman, a woman knows, like, when, a woman's intuition. intuition is really, like, unbeatable, Second to be sure. honest. For so sure. it's like, if you listen to your woman, if she's smart <laughs> some women yeah, not the, some women be yeah some of them be a little off the rocker but Delude. y'all know what we talking about <laughs> yeah, yeah. but we anyway we all are on the same page what i was just gonna say my okay. pastor said the same thing that you said he said and he's a man black man he said the man is the head but the woman is the brain yeah that's what he said it came out of man's mouth i'm yeah. just saying and it's just like like you said we need each other and, and everything. i think we do need each other mm-hmm. and like all this back and forth especially i would say it's like black women and like black men we shouldn't be trying to like compete compete for trauma stories or compete mm-hmm. to be like because that's why know, we're in trauma the, wars we're, yeah we're, it's literally we're trauma now. wars they'd be like oh like well, as a black woman, this and it's and like okay. Well, this. as a black man, I go through this struggle. Like we're all struggling. God yeah. damn it, we all black. Like we're all black and struggling out yeah. here. Like mm-hmm. there's there should be no like trauma wars out here for real because you think the white people sitting there doing that? We are the no. only race of people. I feel like we not even the only race. I think we do it the most, we and that's it. why we are so divided. Mm-hmm. Like, we fight each other the most. I think me and my homeboy was talking about this, and it's so sad. It's disheartening. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, like you said, white people don't sit there and do that. Like, you may see other races, they may talk about it, but we do it so bad that we're just, mm-hmm. we're just broken. Yeah. You know, yeah. As a people. And, and, and it's, it's going to have to <laughs> Oh, I ain't even going to get into what I want to get into. That's we, another that's conversation. That's going to have to be, yeah. yeah. Y'all going to hit on some points that's really deep so yeah, we gonna sure. save that for another episode <laughs> but y'all know me y'all know i like games you guys know i like games because I, like like I play too much but don't, <laughs> but don't play with me don't play with it don't play with it um, <laughs> come on baby don't Whoa. play with it <laughs> Give me you, you ain't know my voice could get that deep uh-uh. um, <laughs> okay so we're gonna play a game about double standards okay, okay. you just agree or disagree if okay. you feel like you want to elaborate on it then just Put your hand up or something. Okay. Or mm-hmm. we'll j- I'll just pause after each one so y'all could, you know. Bad, bad. Okay. Agree or disagree? A married woman without a job is a homemaker. A married man without a job is a failure. Disagree. 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 Damn, a man without a job is a failure. That's so harsh. It's but awesome. men really do be feeling like yeah, that. Yeah, they do. Because that's they do. what I said. All, it's a man's out. Never yeah, understand. Yeah, they put so either. much of their worth mm-hmm. into their job and into the, how mm-hmm. much money it's their, like their whole identity. Yes. You, but it's society. <laughs> like, yeah, society that is really. Part, society has made it seem like if you are a man without a job or if you are a man without a, per- a job or, or a career, you have no purpose. And yeah, it's so funny because yeah. me and my horrible. homeboy was talking about it. And we both was kind of like, it's crazy how. If a man doesn't have, if he's not on the path of doing something or being somebody great, he's nothing. Mm-hmm. But women, and I agreed with this because I feel like we are allowed to just be. We had this conversation. It was, with Zay. it was with Shout Zay. It was with Zay. Because I wrote it down in my notes. Keep talking. I'm yeah, going. we're allowed to just be. Like I think we're allowed to just go to the park and stand in the rain and be like, oh, well, this is, just, I'm just, mm-hmm. this, I'm in this cycle of my life or, mm-hmm. you know, a man is real broken. eat, pray, love type shit. Yeah. But it's like when a man does that, it's like, oh, you're a failure. You're a failure. Yeah. yeah. Like, especially what are you doing? men go of color, especially black like men. men. Yeah. Um, For sure. 
Cause it's like when a man's when a man if you ever been with a man and he is not right financially or like in his pockets and everything. He's not like, right up here. He's not right in his mind. At all. He will literally unless he a like, deadbeat and he yeah. got right mooching off of you. Like yeah. literally, I've known guys who can be so miserable. Like if their pockets yeah. broken, they feel broken mm-hmm. overall. Yeah. Like their whole so identity, they just feel is shattered. And like yeah. like y'all said, like men put so much or society forces it on men to put so much of their identity into their occupation, yeah. into their pockets, into, into their, their accomplishments. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, so, and like, if they're not accomplishing anything, they don't think that they're like, they have mm-hmm. a, and me and Gabby were actually talking about this before, but I was like, we need to start working on like our own personal pitch, but remove your occupation from yeah. it. So it's like, if you were to introduce yourself to someone, like, you know, people pitch ideas, people pitch their jobs and whatnot. It's like, okay, can you pitch yourself, but not without, without your, your occupation? Job. Like, who are you? Mm-hmm. You know? Seems Unless like- your hobby is your job. Because I will say, you can be like, oh, I love to dance. And you, like, get paid to be a dancer. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Because I know sometimes it gets, a, yeah. the line gets kind of thin. Then say it like yeah. that. I would be like, okay, I like to dance, but I wouldn't, like, define myself as a dancer. Because, like, I would still want people to challenge themselves to yeah. remove, Just like, like whatever brings dance. you, yeah, whatever yeah. is your income, remove that. Down. Who are you without Stop it? Stop putting yourself in a box. And you know yeah, it's crazy true. because men's milestones are not ours. Mm. Like, our milestones are, like, having kids yeah. and getting married. Mm. Their yeah. milestones are... Being a CEO, making six figures, making six figures having figures. properties. Like, yeah. Yeah. Men are not allowed Stop. in the society to stop and smell the flowers, and I they think don't get that to have a soft life. They don't, and yeah. I think that, yeah. that kind of sucks because it's like even if you don't want a soft life, I've I've never had a guy friend. Well, maybe a few. But I've never really had a lot of guy friends who are like, you know what? I just want to chill. Like I just want to take a year to travel. I just want to. I saw yeah. this little shop the other day, and I just stopped. To yeah. get some tea or whatever, yeah. like I just don't, I don't. It's a lot of the men that we're surrounded by. It's like, nah, like we're grinding. Like, like yeah. you said, they be in tunnel vision, and it's like, I love that for you, but breathe. Yeah, and the mm-hmm. whole, I, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I hate the phrase soft life because yeah, I, like I feel like certain things that are a part of life, or like the simple joys and pleasures in life, it's should just soft. be enjoyable just and just yeah. that, just that. Just yeah. that. Yeah. i don't think yeah. like like how you you said something to me earlier basically like i want to create a life that i don't need a break from or like yeah. a life, a life of, of ease, ease. Mm-hmm. Like a life of ease like i shouldn't have to go do certain things to be in my soft girl soft boy era like yeah i think that's like such that's, a dumb like, thing like when they be like say. come with me to live a soft girl life you got on lululemon um clean girl aesthetic and, um, clean girl black, aesthetic. black girl luxury like, don't even get me on the clean girl don't even get me on <laughs> like, that oh my god you know somebody like, said that to me one day when i was at school like you just sounded I had, real new york you said you know somebody <laughs> said, said that to me because <laughs> actually <laughs> Like, Sorry, y'all. But when the New Year come out, I, I noticed it. I go, because it actually pissed me off. I had my hair in a bun like I do now. You mm-hmm. know, I have to wear business casual, business professional to school. And it was this girl. And she was like, oh, my gosh, I just love your clean girl look. I almost turned around that's, like, that sounds like what? <laughs> like, y'all know that the, sounds the whole clean girl and everything, like, back, back, back in the day and everything, what they're considering clean mm. girl aesthetic. Mm-hmm. If you go back in time and stuff like that, our yeah. ancestors, our grandparents, great-grandparents, they did the slick back and the simple lip gloss with the liner because that's all they could afford. That part, like, that's not a it was, clean girl it's aesthetic. Not, it's just a that's some, quick that's what they style, had. That's like, what they yeah. had to do. Like They yeah. had to do with what they had to make themselves look presentable to other people. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. So this whole, oh, clean girl, soft girl, like, get that shit out of here, man. That's soft girl life shit. <laughs> like, that's, that's, and it's like, here. I get it. Like, life is not always just easy. Like, there's hard times and there's times where you got to Go work hard small stuff to yeah. make yourself feel better but i should like you said i should be able to create a life of ease overall and like the, that soft girl era shit i've hated that since it started like yeah. soft girl that's just normal shit get, going to get your nails done is normal sometimes going black to get women a pedicure don't have the option normal. sometimes and, black women and we don't that. have the time and that's why i feel like it sucks because girls. it shouldn't be a soft girl it should just be like oh fuck it i deserve to have my toes painted on yeah. <laughs> like, right <laughs> Like, I'm gonna go treat that. myself. I deserve yeah. a massage. Like, I deserve it. to get my punani wax. Yeah. Like, Everything it. don't gotta be a lifestyle and aesthetic. I was about to say, people parents right. do be listening. Speaking of punani, <laughs> <laughs> men who, okay, agree or disagree, mm-hmm. men who like sex are um, admired and powerful. 
women who like sex are sluts and whores. Disagree. I disagree, but I agree that that's the outlook that a lot of people have. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Nowadays, like I agree that that's a very popular opinion, but I do not agree with it. Either we're all mm -hmm. in power or we're all sluts. <laughs> And I it's mean, just like that, because I'm sick of that shit, too. Seiji? Yeah, no, for sure. Liking sex, I don't know in what world that makes you a slut. That's so such a harsh word. Like, yeah, yeah. it's just it's like... Because like, you know when you're, like, outspoken about, like, your sexual desires as a woman, it can come off as, like, not feminine. Feminine. Yeah. Yeah. Because Scurious. they want it to be modest and modest, reserved. Yeah. Mm. Okay, Mother Teresa. Forget like, all <laughs> that. No, seriously. It's 21st yeah. century. It's 2023. Women okay. are freakier than men are. Like, we just can't say it. Because then we come off as hoes. Yeah. yeah. Niggas think they hoes, but hoes, we hoes, too. <laughs> to complain that game, if you do what you do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my God, hey. seriously. Lord. Okay, so <laughs> next one. A man who speaks his opinion is strong and passionate. A woman who speaks her opinion is bitchy and shrill. Like you said, I, mean, I disagree, disagree of but that is the outlook, especially yeah. if you brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah if you're they love to hit woman, us with that mad black, black woman. woman. Yeah, aggressive. But yeah. if I don't speak up, I'm weak, mm -hmm. or I'm 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 acclimating to corporate America or whatever society that I'm yeah. in. So it's yeah. like, you want me to speak up? Or you want yeah. me to be quiet? What you want me to do? Mm -hmm. You know what I don't like when it comes to like... Because I say what the fuck I want. Y'all know me. When it comes to speaking up, if it's like, you know, I see you, all skin folk ain't kin folk. No. But of course not. I hate how like, if I'm a black woman in a space where, you know, there might not be, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, mm -hmm. or there might not be a lot of other like people that look like me in the space mm -hmm. and everything. We, you know, we should be on the same side. And yeah. I speak up and say something, and instead of you having my back, you you right there on the other side. Playing devil's advocate with or something. Playing devil's advocate. If or you're like, saying something foolish, I'm yeah, not going to But I'm side. saying, like, if it's like me just, like you said, just simply speaking up and expressing my opinion. As a, like, as a black woman, yeah, as, no, I get that. Because they always think we're being aggressive or and something. And it's like, no, I'm, I'm speaking up just like Susie or Bob. Mm -hmm. I should be able to do that. And it's mm -hmm. like we always have to code switch and stuff like that. And it's like as my sister or as my brother, mm -hmm. instead mm -hmm. of like certain spaces, instead of you like, you know, embarrassing me or like blatantly just disagree. Like you can disagree with what I have to say, but I feel like there's a way to do it when it comes to us and yeah. like in certain spaces mm -hmm. like you know because the odds are already against us we don't need to Facts. be against each other Absolutely. even more yeah. so. and even if you are a privilege because i know some black people they grow up real privileged and they're like well i've never experienced that mm -hmm. you may not have experienced it but as a black person you know what we go through yeah mm -hmm. so let's not be dumb yeah be fucking for real carlton <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm sorry it's not a carlton from fresh Prince. yeah oh. <laughs> i love that show love um, it today. okay so we have two more a woman who cries is in touch with her feelings. A man who cries is weak. Aww, Just agree. Come here, baby. Just agree. Oh, I hate my that. Eyes. Yeah, that's one of the, can cry in my arms. the worst ones. But I feel like now, like more in these times, like there's really like a movement going on saying that, you know, men who express their feelings are not weak. Men who seek therapy are not weak mm -hmm. and things like that. So... I definitely disagree with that because, I mean, people got to cry, bro. Have y'all ever <laughs> seen y'all partners out. cry in front of y'all? Yeah. Cool. Have y'all ever seen y'all partners cry in front of y'all? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it breaks my heart. Not a full-on cry, but yeah. The first time they did it, did they feel like they had to apologize for it or do you feel like they had to kind of like, like not hold it in a little bit, but do you feel like there was some type of like hesitance mm -hmm. when it came yeah. to like wanting to cry in front of you? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. It but was it was good. just so much. I feel like going on in their brain at that one time, it just came out. It's like, overwhelming. Yeah. I yeah. think for me, like he kind of tried to hide it and I was like, I see. Yeah. It. No, same. I just went up and yeah. I just kind of hugged same. him. So I was like, you can cry. And I hate that this society has made men seem like they can't cry and it's like mm -hmm. then y'all wonder like why men hard. don't open up to y'all because y'all be like oh you're a pussy you're this yeah. yeah and it's like okay and that's why he don't share shit with you mm -hmm. because yeah. now you making fun of him for literally expressing his emotions as a mm -hmm. human being mm -hmm. yeah. and that's not cool and some of these girls that be crying be crying for no fucking reason sorry <laughs> so no <laughs> Be just boo hooing for bitch. Get up, stand Go. up. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Like, 
No, just because she's a girl and she's crying, she be crying about shit she already know the answer to. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Women, you can cry. <laughs> but, I love but, but the first time my partner cried in front of me, y'all, okay, y'all know I struggle with uh, empathy. Mm-hmm. and Horrible. Situational awareness. Don't hug me, please. <laughs> situational awareness. Um, I didn't really know what to do. I did, my brain had to tell me like, you know, okay, be empathetic. Was it like an out of nowhere cry or? Were, I mean, it was like a, you know. Like you felt it coming. I didn't, you really, still... I didn't really feel it coming, mm-hmm. but I could see like frustration, like mm-hmm. that okay. led to yeah. it. Okay. Um, You know, like my boyfriend, he's very like emotionally intelligent and aware and like in touch with his emotions and stuff like that. And don't mm-hmm. hear this and get a big hit. Um, <laughs> not too much. The not moment he hears this, he's gonna text me and be like, oh, oh, baby. We're we, we gonna, we gonna be in an argument. He'd be like, I thought I was emotionally <laughs> intelligent. <laughs> I'm so dead. But you, you said, you said. <laughs> out your mouth. No, oh but like, okay, for me, empathy and like, I guess you could say emotional intelligence and like situational awareness is something that like, I struggle with, and so I feel like by us like being together, he's kind of been not conditioning me because that sounds like weird, but like helping me yeah. like mm-hmm. get to that point. Yeah. But so when like I believe it or not, when I get very frustrated, I cry, and that may seem like a surprise because y'all know like I don't really like. I, don't think I mean, I'm the same way. So I really no, I've never seen you cry. It yeah when I have like Whoa. with y'all it's very it's very weird when it comes to like my friends or family and stuff like that it's easy for me to express myself but when I'm with my partner sometimes my mind just goes blank yeah like, I just go mute and I get frustrated like, you don't know how to get the words out yeah for and so then like I start saying I start speaking backwards and shit mm-hmm. my wow. my sentences sound like alphabet <laughs> and like soup. you can you can hear yourself talking in circles right. And, and he, then I, like yeah, I'm the same way. I start crying. He'll be like, like, what are you saying or what are you trying to say? And then that makes me even more <laughs> frustrated because now I feel like I'm being, now I feel dumb. And it's not like yes. he's doing it on purpose yes. because he's really just trying to help me like process my thoughts and stuff like that. But I'll be like, damn, am I dumb? Like yeah. in my head, I'd be like, are you dumb? But I just think like the first time I saw like my significant other cry, it was very different for me like I had somebody else in my past cry but he was crying because he knew he did something wrong so that mm-hmm. was different like you're crying because you talking about mm-hmm. disgusting. Yep. Disgusting. Yep. Disgusting. um he was crying because he knew he did something wrong but this his tears this one was like frustration and really just trying to like convey his point mm-hmm. but I also thought like after everything that it was actually a beautiful thing that you know he felt like he could be vulnerable mm-hmm. and stuff with me and not care like if he were to cry and stuff Mm because then i did reassure him i was like you know it's okay like you can express yourself like i don't think like oh damn this nigga weak like he over here crying but it is crazy it's sad and if you were a woman like that out there shame on you bitch you're delusional (laughs) you're delusional if you're a woman and you think like that you're delulu shame on you she's squinting her eyes at (laughs) y'all And it's yeah, because some of y'all sure. can't see me. I'm I'm giving you the dirtiest look right now. <laughs> <laughs> so dead. But okay, we're all we're we're always all like for the most part pretty much on the same page. So yeah. the next mm-hmm. and last one for the game, a woman who gets angry is irrational. Oh, Lord. A man who gets angry knows and gets what he wants. Now I disagree because some of these men be out here mad for nothing. But then I don't think this applies to black men for real, for real. Well, I don't know. It depends who it's under the guise of. Like, I feel like black people in general getting angry by everyone else is looked at real aggressive like. Mm. But I guess within the black community. Like black on black relationships. I guess like (laughs) women, women are seen as angry black women. And then a man who gets angry. I don't know. I think I'm going to say the view of it, the way that people view it, I think, I don't even know if I would say agree or disagree, but I think men, some, again, this is all 
subjective. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely, if we get angry, it is seen as irrational. Like, bro, like you tripping? Because like sometimes yeah. women like will get angry about stuff, not necessarily at the situation, but the principle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, mm-hmm. people don't be understanding that. And that's the thing. Like, it's like you idiot. I'm not mad at the fact that. Yeah. You went X, Y, and Z place. I'm mad at the fact that you didn't communicate or whatever. That, like that's the where principle. you were going. Yeah. Yeah. So then, overall, like women, we operate off of emotion. I would say, and men operate more so off of logic. Some. So if something doesn't, mm-hmm. yeah, some. Because remember, we still the brains. Don't ask me how we the brains and the heart, but we are both. Because the brain is the heart, and the heart is the brain. Okay, Damn that it. was a lie. I'm, that was deep. That was deep. <laughs> <laughs> but so deep. I definitely think, like, if logically something doesn't make sense, like, to a man, and we get angry, it's definitely mm-hmm. seen as like irrational. Mm-hmm. And um, then we also tend to get gaslit. Mm. So we also tend to then, gaslight. That too. Well, <laughs> well, 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 baby, I know some steam it. Yeah. Yeah. Out here playing with your mind. I mean, I definitely disagree with the fact that, like, you know, women who get angry are irrational and men who get angry knows who they want. But, like, I don't know. I think it's situational. I guess. I guess so. I guess so. Okay, so. I could agree to that, too. No, yeah, I, I agree with the statement or disagree. What? I don't. You, I you know, y'all know, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know how we've been this entire. I feel like all the statements were like, okay, yeah, they're like pretty like common viewpoints, but we don't agree with them. But no, yeah, it definitely sucks, especially because like even with me, when I talk, I'm just a naturally loud person, and I automatically project. Mm-hmm. So people automatically want to like label that as me being angry or me getting loud, you know, yeah. intimidating when it's like, no, I'm just like, I call it passion. Like if I'm excited about something, mm-hmm. I get loud, right? right? If I'm passionate about my viewpoint, whether I'm in a disagreement or whether I'm like speaking about a passion project, mm-hmm. I'm going to get loud. I'm going to get, I mean, I talk with excited. my hands, yeah. but yeah, it's, it's very easy for people to label that as me being angry or me, you know, being aggressive, being aggressive or starting something, you know, but mm-hmm. Why are you so loud? So when you're at, when you're <laughs> angry, would you like you said, um, you could get loud and stuff like that, like mm-hmm. out of passion. So mm-hmm. would you like? Do I get angry like in arguments? I mean, yeah. do I get loud? Like loud? That? Do you no, get loud in actually, arguments and do the hand motions? Cause I don't, but I I make a conscious effort not to because I know I can. You know, mm-hmm. like I'm never that person that's gonna be like. Ha, 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 ha. That's not me. Yeah. If I ever get to that point, like something wrong, he, something's wrong where he deserves it. Person. I yeah. am not the type of person no, to do yeah. that. But like because I already mm-hmm. know how I can come off to other people. Like when I am angry for real, I do kind of like Sit try back. to take a step back yeah. and make sure my tone is a little lower. Some people probably look at that as psychotic because you know if you come to someone and you're talking to them like this and you're like really angry, they're like, "Ooh, this bitch is psycho." But it's like, no, I'm trying <laughs> to make real, a conscious though. effort. Yeah. That's real. To bring it back That's because psycho. if not, it's like damned if I do, damned if I don't. You know, yeah. if I'm calm and talking in a calm manner, it's like, "Ooh, see now you're trying to gaslight me because you're trying to make me look like the crazy one because now I'm yelling no. and you're being soft and da da da." And it's like, he's yeah, loving, you know. <laughs> but not yet. I definitely disagree with that statement, but it is definitely hard for us out here. It's like damned if we do, damned if we don't. Yeah. But I can say like, just like how you say you kind of try to reel it in, I just be straight up. I'm loud and I talk with my hands. I'm letting you know. Mm-hmm. Because cause I have to do that. Because like you said, I come off very loud to everybody. Mm-hmm. And I don't care. But <laughs> I know like it can come off. Why are you upset? I'm not. I'm really just loud. I really have to tell people like, y'all, I'm just loud. I'm just letting y'all know. Mm-hmm. While we're having this conversation, I'm not yelling. I'm just. This is just how I talk. Yeah. I talk with my hands. We I'm project. You know, we got loud I stand voices. up and I'm like, okay, so what's good? Then and then we tall in stature, so that already looks scary. And we tall people. as hell, so it's just like people like, damn, you know, right? They be like, what are you trying to start? It's like, no, I'm really not. <laughs> I'm just up here, like, no, nah, I'm really you just, know? I'm just passionate, like you said, or I'm just a loud person. That's just who I am. I'm not quiet. Never been quiet. Yeah. So it's just like I just have to tell people up front, like me and me and my significant other, like literally, like before an argument, I'll be like, all right, you know, I'm loud. If it seems like I'm being loud or I'm yelling, like, let me know because I'm not trying to. Yeah. I'm just, that's just how I say. You got to work a little hard. You got to make an effort to be like, okay, let me bring it back because I already know how I am when I'm not angry. So I'm angry now. So let me. Exactly. And I still try to rein it in when I'm having an important conversation, but it's Mm -hmm. like, 
just let y'all know sometimes I don't realize that I'm being yeah. loud and I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to yell. I'm this literally just how I talk. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. The moment you get loud with me, I don't hear shit you said. Mm, yeah. Like it's so distracting to me. Like you get loud, you start or you start talking with your hands or like mm -hmm. Breathing heavy, rolling your eyes, all that. Everything. I hear it, but I, I hear it, but it don't like, make my heart start being real shit. fast. Like <laughs> I tune everything out. It's I think it's like triggering to me almost based mm. off of like okay. stuff we not even gonna get into, but yeah. <laughs> shit Up like trauma. Yeah. Yeah, trauma. <laughs> trauma. But yeah, the moment you like raise your voice even a little bit, I don't hear shit. Yeah, I don't, mm. and I'll literally be like shut down. Yeah, I don't want to talk no more because mm. I'm like. You, if you gotta get loud or whatever, or over a certain decibel to get your point mm -hmm. across, I'm good. On let's it. try again. Yeah, let's try again yeah, at another point. Again. In two weeks. You know, like, two weeks. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good on it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But I can't say I never got loud with a man, though. <laughs> I cannot say that I've never done that. Yeah, it took I a lot. I cannot see you getting loud. Yeah, I me either. Cannot picture that. Really. Shit at all. I can't, I can't even picture you arguing for real. I can picture like, you getting what? frustrated and crying, but I can't picture you screaming. I, yeah, like, I can't picture you yelling, but I can picture you getting mad. I can see you rolling your eyes. I can be, see that too. Being the one to be like, you do okay. a lot of, yeah. You do a like, lot of that. Yeah. I, so. Hmm. I usually try not to because I find it hard to articulate when I'm like highly emotional mm -hmm. to articulate my words. So usually I end up crying. But if I'm mad, like I can yell. It's I okay. cuss a bitch out. It's just me. I, I cried. I gotta see it one time in <laughs> my life. Like, we gotta. I'm gonna just purposely make Sage mad. <laughs> just start I don't even think it would be. Let somebody thing. push me in a party. Oh. Let somebody push me. You know something. That don't count. I, it could. That don't count. Let me have enough liquor in my body. That's the point. Because I've been waiting. I've been waiting count. for the day. This liquor. I'm talking about oh. sober and screaming. I don't know. Yeah. Lord, y'all are here. <laughs> about to get a little rowdy with some juice in their system. Howdy, let's get rowdy. Okay, um, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> but okay, so that's that for the game. That was good, that was cool. Yeah, um, moving on, we're just gonna do some more, you know, examples of double standards and then we're gonna wrap it on up. Just you know, how you feel about it, um, when it mm -hmm. comes. <laughs> I feel about it. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. um, okay. <laughs> Oh, this one, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, what we got on here? Let me see. What we got up on when these cards? When it comes to clothing. I don't have that. Well, bitch, you should have. Right. Put it on your paper. <laughs> see, empathy. See, Let I'm, me work on it. Here you go, Kelsey. You I share with you. Here you go, Kelsey. <laughs> I share with you. A normatively attractive woman normatively. may get away with wearing a mini skirt while women who are heavier Sheesh. may not. Yeah. Absolutely. We actually talked about this one. There was actually a little exercise that I had did in college. There was like a retreat that I had went on. And they had us look at like fake Instagram profiles and, you know, basically label which one you thought was appropriate, which one you thought wasn't appropriate. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, there was a lady who was of a slim figure. She was fit. You could tell she was active. There was a picture of her in a bikini on the beach. Sorry. Right. So they put that up. They were like, do you guys deem that inappropriate or appropriate? And everybody was like, it's appropriate. And they're like, why? And they're like, well, you know, she's, you know, she's just on the beach. You know, she's active. She had a little hat on and, you know, she had a little Nike fit you know, bikini on and she was fit. And they were like, you know, yeah, it's appropriate, you know, da, da, da. But then literally the next slide was a thicker woman who was a lot more curvy, a lot more, you know, luscious, um, you know, had boobs, ass, hips, the whole nine yards. And everybody was like, oh my God, that's not appropriate, not appropriate. Yeah. But it's like, wait, she has on a bathing suit. They're, they were in the same location. The same outfit. Not the same outfit, mm -hmm. but like one was obviously more fit and yeah. then the other one was thick was thicker and mm -hmm. like Curvy. people were saying that that was a little more inappropriate mm -hmm. but then when it was time to ask or for them to elaborate like why mm -hmm. they had nothing to say they really didn't have anything to say and it, it was like an eye-opening experience to a lot of people because it was like look at how you're judging these people but it's like when i ask you like okay the girl in the previous picture y'all said it was appropriate mm -hmm. for like a work you know for linkedin or like for a work profile because she's fit and she's active right the next mm -hmm. picture what, what you got to say now because it's a body norm and it's it's just piggybacking off of what you said, it's an eye-opening experience because you have no excuse because that's what we have been taught is okay. Yeah. 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 Like, okay, because she's this size, it's okay for her to wear this. And that's just beauty standards mm -hmm. in America. It's very, 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 very westernized. Mm -hmm. And that's why they think that it's okay. And that's why this is even a question yeah. because it's 
European body standards. Mm -hmm. I said what I said. No facts. And I'm going to say it again. European body standards. Because I, a lot of women of color don't look like that. Yeah. So. No, yeah. But I mean, no, yeah. Because I've had to deal with that personally. Just, you know, like growing up with a larger chest than mm -hmm. most. Mm -hmm. And from an early age, like, I could not wear the same types of shirts that other people could wear. And I wish I could. Mm. Like, regular, like kids' shirts are like, you know, the cute little bikinis. I can never wear, like, a cute little, uh, you know, the triangle bikini things. I never yeah. could wear it because right. <laughs> I look like a, a porn star. <laughs> when did you have your little boobs develop? Big well, I, 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 I'm the little boob one. <laughs> I got my I got my period at like nine years old. So after Damn. that, <laughs> see, I was a late bloomer. Damn. After that, it's when they started uh, growing in like wow. middle school. See, yeah. and that like, and I used or to before middle school, kind of not envy people like you, but I because I was not I was the yeah. complete opposite. Like I was a late bloomer. I was a little stick figure. I did not have body or shape or anything like that. Yeah. And neither did I. I was I was real skinny, but just had a large it was chest. Just top heavy. Yes. Damn. Yeah, I got my Get period really early. Really You've been bleeding early. your whole life. You really yeah. Have. All you remember is blood. You was on the playground. <laughs> you was on the playground. Chase <laughs> is like. <laughs> you Why you had to say it like that, Kelsey? You was on the playground, <laughs> playground <laughs> like, hold up, y'all. I gotta go to the bathroom. No, luckily it happened during the summer. Blessings, and it didn't happen at school. So but you yeah, was going I was a late ass bloomer. Hmm? So you was going on ten? I don't remember. But you was in elementary school because the trauma. Yeah, yeah. 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 elementary school. You blocked it out. Yeah, I was in Damn. elementary school. Damn, you was like fourth grade, bro. Something like that, yeah. Because I think fifth grade. Ooh. Fifth grade is when I started noticing like my chest was getting bigger. I think. Damn. Mm -hmm. Dang. Yeah, I was a late ass. And did not grow. I was built like that light pole. Yeah. <laughs> I'm know. still waiting. They said grown woman weight comes at 25. October. <laughs> Hello, God. It's me. The grown woman weight. <laughs> Send it down from the heavens. What's your next thing on that list? Shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> all my life. I'm, I'm so life. sure. Great. Ooh, okay. Next. Ooh, this is a good one. A father who allows his 16-year-old son to stay out until midnight, but doesn't let his daughter go out past 10 p.m. Misogyny. Mm. Yeah. Patriarchy. That's, that's real. I didn't grow up with, like, brothers my age, so I didn't get to experience it myself, but mm -hmm. sons definitely get treated different, di uh, different than daughters, for sure, from what I've heard. Oh, for sure. And yeah. seen. Sure. Honestly, when I really think about my brother and I... I feel like my parents have been more strict with him than me. Oh, mm. wow. Because sometimes he be doing dumb shit. <laughs> Damn. Shout out, Blake. <laughs> Shout out, Blake, man. He's come, Blake has come a long way, okay? My brother, Blake. Um, my brother and I are four and a half years apart. Um, I, oh, wow. I know, right? I would say, yeah, my, I wasn't, I was a curious child, but I would also tell on myself to, like, you, they could come to me and be like, I know what you did at school today. And I'll be like, I know, I just was fucking in. <laughs> now nah, I just told myself. <laughs> I know what you did. So when it came to mm -hmm. going out, especially because I was like, you know, I would say I was a relatively smart and like aware, like socially and like environmentally aware mm -hmm. child and was very open, like open enough with my parents to the point where they felt like they could trust me. Yeah. So my dad was never really like, oh, it's past this time. Like you can't go out because you're a girl type shit. It was more so like because of your age and out of respect for the house. Like yeah. you're you're not about to be in ninth grade and be outside till 2 a.m. You have no business. Yeah. yeah. Like mm -hmm. he would always say nothing good ever happens past midnight. Mm. And that was just one of those things. Mm -hmm. And same thing for my brother. Like, after a certain time, like, yo ass is in the house. It was kind of equal, I would say. My parents never really had that whole, like, boy, girl type of thing, like, yeah. with us. I felt like my brother got away with more stuff with certain things, but just, just because he was younger, but not necessarily because he was a guy. Now, yeah. Mm -hmm. So... But well, people who do that to their kids, like y'all are sick. That's just weird. Like it's very weird. What you think? You know what? Never it's mind. Weird. No, I not. Like and they not training their sons the way that they need to be. No, not respect at all. the women like they should be. Mm -hmm. I have three siblings, and two of them I didn't grow with, up with in the house, and one of them that I did grow up in the house with. We're ten years apart, 
So my mom never sheltered me. And I think it's because I was raised primarily by my mother. Hmm. She didn't shelter me, but she was like, don't bring no babies in this house. And she drilled it so much into my head that like when everybody else started having babies recently, she's like, where's my grandchild? I said, no, you said I don't have a baby. <laughs> right. That's your fault for being a good parent. Yeah. That's your fault. But, <laughs> but no, my mom, she, she definitely lets my little brother slide with So thinking Boy. back to like when you were in high school, does he come, like, does he have to come in the same time that you would have to come in? Does he have the same That's rules? That's what I'm saying. She lets him, yes and no. He has the same rules and doesn't always abide by them. Hmm. And, and I he didn't gets always away abide with by them, but my punishment was a lot more. So he got, he gets away with it more. But I think it's because you me and my mom have had, no, nah, we, okay. Me and my mom have had this conversation and she says, you know, I think there was, I was really harsh on you. I was like, yeah, I think what my mom because she's a woman, and it's only so much you can do as a woman to raise a man, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's sure. like she was a lot softer with my brother because of how hard of, on me she was. But I was like, no, that's the one you need to be yeah. hard with yeah. because that's the one that's hard-headed. Yeah. So I was hard-headed too, but in a different way. Yeah. But that's it's so like, it was more of her learning as a parent too. So I'm her first child. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm the guinea pig child. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so real though. So, like parents mm-hmm. make mistakes with you and then they get it together with the next mm-hmm. child yeah. and you're like wait you ain't do that with me but it's no, like man. they're human too but then these people be building resentment mom, like, you just gonna let him say that this yeah. Yeah. yeah that's cute but i feel like she'd be too soft with him sometimes i'm like sometimes you just mm-hmm. get knocked her Hello. yeah i would say when it comes to my brother and i i would get in trouble for things and learn my lesson he would not mm-hmm. so like i am traumatized because i used to get beat for my lips being chapped like when I say chap, they would be so chap that they would bleed. <laughs> and That's why. Like, oh, walking around looking crazy. <laughs> and I would just sit there and pick and pick and pick oh, and pick. And no, I think I used to do the same oh, thing, though. Rest. I think I used to do the same thing. <laughs> like, let my lips go really let your lips dry. In elementary, dry. Like, in elementary <laughs> school, yeah, for sure. My lips would go so dry. You, bleeding, you be in school for eight hours and don't have no chapstick? Bro, That's going to happen. I would have the ring around my lips, Ooh, like the red ring. ring. My lips yeah. would be bleeding. And, of course, like, as a parent, you don't want to be outside with your kid and they look like crazy. that. Yeah. <laughs> they used to buy me so much chapstick. It made no Ooh, sense. Shit. So I will never forget one day, like, my dad was getting on to me about something else. It was because I think I left the scooter, like my electric scooter. I put it on his car, you know, whatever. I got in trouble for that. And then as he's yelling at me for that, he looks at me and he said, he said, look at your lips. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your lips. Your oh, lips are chest. <laughs> and then he just flicked me in the mouth. Oh my god! One time, it was like, boop, boop. like it was real quick <laughs> to the point where I didn't even have time to. Probably heard a little friction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. So dry. I was over there like, huh. like I didn't even have time to think about it. I got beat one time for my lips being oh chapped, and I learned my lesson. I would walk around with one, two, three, four things of chapstick. We could be in the car as a family, and he'd be like, who got chapstick? And then Blake would be like, I know Gabrielle got chapstick. Because I learned my lesson, but with my brother, he would Blake would get in trouble every year. He got in trouble like three years in a row before his birthday every year. <laughs> Oh, for the same thing. Why did you lie three years in a row? You didn't learn your lesson the first time. And so it's just like... Yeah, I, we just, not gender-based, but more so just like... Yeah, it's just like... I don't know. Shit, yeah. Whatever. But can I ask you why you're so <laughs> against us? <laughs> I just don't understand. I am so <laughs> done with y'all. Why did you not? I don't know. I just... I don't think I like the way it felt. I don't know. You like how you I felt? did we just was not thinking about it. it for me, anyways. Chapstick in, ele- in elementary school. Mm-mm. I just thought I don't I love know. Me some chapstick. I felt Listen. I felt lame whipping up chapstick. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> but no. Like but baby. seriously, like no. random things you would feel weird about. Yeah, like yeah. in school. Though, I remember like, I had a birthmark on my arm, and I would always cover like wear long sleeve shirts. Bro, just to not literally, <laughs> they'll be like, "Oh, you got hair on your arms." I remember oh, yeah. I went, I nared my arms. Man, me. Too. That's a okay. whole other topic. No, childhood is weird. Childhood is weird. Middle school is weird because that's the age when middle school is very weird. Sorry, we yeah. gotta get back on okay, topic. Back, back, back on back, topic. Back, back. But, okay, um, <laughs> middle school. Is Last weird. one, and then we're gonna say what's weird, sweetie, listening, listening to our listener. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
A man who wants to be a nurse is ridiculed while, while a woman who wants to be a nurse is encouraged mm -hmm. and vice versa for other professions yeah. where men may not typically be in that it's setting. not the standard. Yeah. Is that really still a thing? Yeah. I will say, like, what? men who are in the nursing program, they'll be like, okay, so what you want to do? You, you want to be an ER nurse? Like, they automatically, like, push them towards that ER, specific yeah. route where it's a little more masculine to That's be a nurse. Crazy. You know, they'd be like, you want to be a travel nurse? Because, you know, those are the nurses that will, like, transport people in helicopters and shit. Mm. Whereas I'm a NICU nurse. We have a male in our oh. in our unit, you know? Mm. And it's cool. Baby. Yeah, it's cool. But he was, Pito, you know, Pito. people would be like, yeah, he wouldn't tell people in his program that he wanted to pursue <laughs> NICU because he would be looked at as, like, a wolf. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But That's I can definitely see that. Pedophile. I'm not You're laughing at it. I, I heard it already. I was, I was cut that not part making out. eye contact. We'll cut that part out. We'll cut that part you out. could yeah. wanna not want to say something about because people, you know, what people think. I'm not saying people I think. do think that towards. Men I'm and saying like though, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying I, yeah. if a man told me he wanted to be a nurse and in the NICU, mm -hmm. I wouldn't yeah. think like. Oh damn! Like you're a pedophile, but some people people crazy Sometimes now. They yeah, yeah. It's definitely definitely sad that you know. Yeah. Certain professions are only looked at as, yeah. you know. Yeah. That would be like if a woman specific. said, like, I know they have female firefighters, but, like, I don't mm -hmm. really hear, like, someone be like, oh, yeah, I want to be a fire firefighter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Because like, that training is crazy. Yeah. That yeah. shit that they got to wear is heavy. heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's pretty intense. Good talk, guys. Um, definitely think we covered a lot of great points on double standards and so much more. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So we did have an anonymous listener writer in her um, for our What's Weird Sweetie segment. And their question was, do you think that in our lifetime, we will see a change in the way people view slash handle double standards? Hmm. That's actually a good question, anonymous. Yeah. I think, I think so. so. I think there is a, a, a generation or two that needs to... Um, Banish, and we'll start seeing some real change. I'm not even gonna cap. No, I'm not even gonna cap. I'm not even gonna cap, y'all. <laughs> I'm not even gonna cap. Okay, these lawmakers and these these people that have power are very old. Mm. A lot of them are very old. Mm. And once they go, we'll start seeing some things. We we'll start seeing some. We'll, listen. Just away with the baby boomers. Mark my words. Mark my words. Yes. Yeah. God bless. God bless. But yeah. Ages, ages. I'm not. No, I'm not ages. No, I love. Listen. If anybody loves elders, if anybody loves elderly people, it's me. It's a certain type of elderly people. Okay. The black and brown in most peels, most peels, <laughs> not all of them. My best friend is eighty. <laughs> no seriously. I love all people. I, I love all people. I love all people. I love 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 people. Because like we've said, like mm. there's been so many changes and so many like shifts with gender roles that we're seeing now in our age. So I feel like yeah. it's just going to become like, I feel like lines are definitely going to be more blurred, but in a good way, yeah. you know, but I definitely do think that it's still important to have some clear defined roles because, and I'll bring back to an example, like say if you have a business, right? Everybody has a position for a reason, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There's specific um, job standards or specific uh Qualification. Qualification, specific tasks and that are associated yeah. with each position. So it's like, okay, let's define what your role is in our relationship and let's define mine. Because if not, we all familiar with the bystander effect. If we, if you don't do it and I don't do it, I'm going to expect somebody to do it and then it's not going to get done, right? Yeah. So it's like sometimes it's good to have those clear standards and those clear roles, but I feel like the lines are getting more blurred where it's like, okay, my role just isn't in the kitchen doing laundry, you know. Yeah. I might be able to do a little something, something, you know. I might be the breadwinner in the situation. Yeah. No, come on. <laughs> I might be the breadwinner. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, that just, like, I feel like that just undid everything that I talked about. It's like, damn, bitch, we just had a conversation about gender roles. Anyways. But that's your opinion. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, I definitely feel like having roles is important. But like I said, I feel like it's... Make it, it's situational. It's situational, yeah, definitely. Situational. Sure. And it's going to... What works for you and your man is going to work different for me and mine. It's going to work different for you and yours. And it's going to work different for you and yours. So figure and out what works for y'all. Yep. Just mind your business. Yeah. Period. Because if it worked different for you and her and he and they, <laughs> then mind your business. And that's <laughs> it. And that's all. But I feel like, like piggybacking off of what Queso said, 
it is definitely already happening in our lifetime but i think like a big big shift i feel like that's gonna be our grandkid in them mm. yeah damn thinking about never i can't even they got it I'm our tired. kids are going to be beasts in the best way possible i yeah. feel like our generation well, when we start raising kids Protest. What Everything. you gotta say, say it. You know you say that. social media killing a brain child. I, don't wanna, I, I do not want to. I'm not raising a child. tablet. Kid. Yeah, not yet. No. Mm -mm. She said she wish it was Zoom. I love the internet. I'm <laughs> sorry. We're, I mean, it could be. we're older, so. <laughs> we know what it's like without it. Like, we're, we're that. Shut up, ages. We're that in between. <laughs> We're that in between where it's like we know what life is like, like we were raised without it. Yeah. But like But we also got introduced it, right. yeah. to a pretty young. Right. But I yeah. still have memories of like playing yes. outside. I, I don't see no hell yeah. Yes. I, don't see I know that we're not all, all the way mentally just No, not at all. Digital, not millennials, sure. but Gen Z. Love y'all. But we're still considered Gen, I'm Z. Considered Gen Z. You are still considered but Gen I, Z. But I have an experience of life that did not involve yeah. social media, though. Yeah. And even when we were I introduced to social it. media, it was in a different level. It was very you different. You know, like, it the influence so was different. The influence yeah. wasn't as prominent. Like, yeah. now... Well, them 2000 babies different. Ten-year-olds yeah. know how to beat their face better than me. Yeah. Why? Because of social media. But our social media was a little different. It was. Yeah, we had, like, it MySpace. Was. And you know, like, yeah. I was never it was fun. It space. was fun. It wasn't right. like okay. I, <laughs> coding and shit. And you know, I knew about it. <laughs> Listen, because I was a computer coder. Okay, okay. we were worried about uh, what song is gonna be in the background of our okay. MySpace page. Not oh, I gotta post tomorrow Club at Penguin. two p.m. Mm -hmm. So that might be <laughs> no, engagement. Seriously, it's that was, like, that know, was my MySpace. You remember Club Penguin? Penguin? Yes. Club Penguin. Oh. Or me. Muse was my shit. Muse was my shit. Muse was my one. Muse, Club Penguin. Oh my gosh. And what then, oh, do y'all remember like before like FaceTime and like Skype and stuff? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those pictures. I remember like, we would be like, we, we are vamping, we vamping tonight. <laughs> yes, right. like, who said that? Oh, like, why was that? You can change your name. You can change your name, and yes. I would take a picture with my friend, Three and I'd be like, yeah, I'm cool, we're talking. Hell yeah. Y'all know nothing about that. And bro. kick. Oh my God. Kick. Oh God. Kick was great. No, kick was a little later, but no, kick, kick was great. Wow. Vinyl was that 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 Vinyl Vine not the OG, good. but it's... But Vine was good. Vine was yeah. great. Vine was great. Yeah. But Aww. I said all that to say, like, social media is definitely... Like, the influence it's, that yeah. it has now yeah. Yeah. is be, a lot it used different. It to be fun, not so My special yeah. serious. More about <laughs> self-expression and less about, oh, look what she looks like. like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. comparison and yeah. rating and wickedness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Bod mind. Honestly. <laughs> Wicked. Wickedness. Wickedness. But it's nothing like YouTube University. Yeah. yeah. So I'm that. Saying. But good but talk. Will definitely change. Good talk overall. I do think that in our lifetime we will see a change. Hopefully, hopefully so. Hopefully it's a change for the better yeah. and not yeah. for the worse. Um, thank you, writer inner. Yes, for that thank you for writing in, Mister, yeah. Mrs. Anonymous. <laughs> um, but Anonymous. you know we like to end our segments with our how's life, sis. So how is life? It doesn't have to be about the topic, but you know, just in a general just sense. In general. How's just life for y'all? <laughs> so let's start with Sister Queso. Um, you know, I've been good. I've been good. I feel like I've been saying I've been good every week, <laughs> and that's okay. But it's good. you know, like I feel like every nothing wrong like, with So I did something recently that I haven't done before, which was, you know, I'm really good at sometimes like not leading people on, but not being straightforward mm -hmm. about where my head's at. Mm -hmm. And I was straightforward in the beginning. So, yeah, I went on a date recently. I'll tell y'all about it. Ooh. But I just wasn't feeling it. Okay. okay. Oh, you know, and I, I let him know. <laughs> like, I let him know pretty early. And I feel like that's, you know, because yeah, I be, listen, I. Cling to potential. I cling to potential. I'll drag something out. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. So Spare I told him feelings. straight up from the jump. I was like, look, this is what it is. This is what it ain't. I've been working on my communication skills. So I feel like I'm getting, you know, okay, more you. wiser, mature, maturer. Gross. In that sense, but um, <laughs> not yet. I've just I've been good because I honestly and I I said this before where I felt like I really just wanted to like clear my roster and I feel like mm -hmm. I've officially done that and it's nice. It's boring as fuck, but Listen, I love girl, that for me. Sometime. I love that for me. That's yeah, no room it's for peaceful. Discovery. Though. Yeah, it's peaceful. I'm bored, but it, I'm at peace. And I don't got no not in pieces. Me out. Girl. At pieces. Not, in, not pieces. in pieces. You gonna be outside this summer, okay? You ain't gotta worry about being. You ain't gotta worry about that. I'm gonna be outside with a 
with a yeah yeah, <laughs> like a consistent yeah yeah. You know, you, you, like, I don't find a yeah yeah outside for sure. Warm summer, that's what you want. Yeah. yeah. Niggas come out the woodwork in the summertime. Nothing wrong with that. You know? Go shake your ass. The sun come out, the niggas come out. <laughs> That's literally right there. Go shake your yeah. ass. Yeah. I'm going to have a lukewarm summer. Yeah, no. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a lukewarm summer. Good. We love growth. Yeah. Love that. Love proud that. Of you, proud of you. Proud of you. Safety. Okay, thank you. I was waiting for the question. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, Make sure you're not okay. covering your face for the people. Can people see your face? Sticky! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's your face. I had to. Okay. Y'all gonna oh, see all this beauty. Sticky! <laughs> <laughs> y'all, I don't know how my wit. I don't know what y'all said. <laughs> I just begin with y'all this <laughs> for our people listening. Uh, I call Sage Sticky because she be putting on a hat and she look like Sticky from the Proud family. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a love uh, nickname. Sage and I have a love hate, hate relationship. relationship. <laughs> but it's not really hate. It just be like picking on Sage. It's like sibling hate. Sibling hate. Sibling We're really hate. sisters for real. Nah, yeah. We're actually twins. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how's life? Oh. Um, it's okay. Like, I will say, quarter one, 2023, you try to take me out. You try to take me out the game, girl. You try to take me out. But I'm still here. Creed. Yeah, still we pulled up here. on that hole. We ride that dome. Here. Creed. Here. We ride that dome. Here. Oh, pull up on that hole. Mink. Yeah, I'm still here, child. I, and we're going to push through. Quarter two, listen. God? <laughs> God? <laughs> I need you to come through, okay? Mm. Listen. 2023, it's gonna look up. It, it got to. What are some things you're gonna be working on in the second quarter? Um, just really being disciplined in what I want to do. Um, uh, wellness, like personal wellness goals. Um, trying to figure out what's best for me and my body, my routine. Mm. Um, and kind of just setting plans, like actually putting plans in motion and being disciplined. Like that's really, really, really what I'm trying to get on to right now yeah. discipline that's really the word that's good that's the word right there i so. love that i love yeah. that pray for me guys we will. we will god is always on time okay Yay. he's always Jesus. good always Shout out. oh it's me yeah. uh, how's life <laughs> sister yeah how's, how's life gabriel um you know it's about that time it's q4 for me right now with school so mm. yeah yeah, we locked Let's in. Get to the, finish the finish line, line is right there, <laughs> the bro. The finish line, I can, I, can, I can smell honestly, it. Honestly, forget the finish line. I can see myself on the beach in Jamaica. Like, that's <laughs> okay. what I see. Like, Perfect. at this yeah. point, skip the graduation. No, not, you know what? God is funny, so let me not say skip the graduation ceremony. <laughs> but, because he'll be like, he'll be like, okay. Another like pandemic? Okay. okay. Yeah. No. No. Shut everything down. But, no. yeah, things are looking oh. up for sure. Not going um, <laughs> Let me knock on wood. Okay. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> um, things are looking up. I have been pushing myself out my comfort zone. Um, I took a Pilates class for oh, the first really time. Mm -hmm. Nothing in my life mm -hmm. could have prepared me I heard it's a lot. for that class. Mm -hmm. It's like full body? Bro, what Ooh. is it? I want to try it. And it was, tomorrow. It was oh. foundations that I did. The basics? Basic. Mm -hmm. So like tough. I work out like three to four times a week, just regular, you know, that's great strength training and mm -hmm. stuff that's like that. Um, my problem right now that I'm having is like keeping a consistent diet mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I'm always on the go. So it's like, how you gonna be thinking you don't eat? That don't really, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it don't really work out. Yeah. Um, supplements. Yeah, and that's the thing. Supplements. That's what they're supposed to be. Just supplements. Like they're supposed to be there to assist you, but like that's not where all your protein. Oh, I'm so to come sorry, Miss Public Health. Yeah. So yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah. MPH. I completely mm. forgot. Yeah. <laughs> um. So. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> Pilates was a push. Very intense. I 10 out of 10 do recommend it though because you will okay. you will feel the fibers shaking in your body that you mm. never thought. <laughs> oh my god. That is so scary. I'm not even going to hold you like That's it so was exciting. it was 50 minutes straight. My class was from 2:30 to 3:20 and Good it Lord. was straight like literally she would be like, okay, guys, so we're going to be doing this. You're going to pull your leg in on four and then push out on four. Okay, you guys have 20 seconds left. And then, all right, we're going to go into kneeling lunges. Like, it's straight. How long are the breaks? There's no break. Not that, one single water no, break? That's a good workout, no, though. No, there's no single water break. 
the machine that you're using to move and stuff like that it helps with like activation of certain fibers and shit and muscles <laughs> that you didn't even know was there probably but um yeah i am gonna do it again i've been trying to find joy like you know in little things like my mom and i went flower picking oh, um we nice. did we went to like this tulip festival where do you find what? these things um you know i'm miss elena so yeah girl no she not <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, I was Clayton actually, County is not Atlanta. Where you stay at? <laughs> Rockdale Rock County. Conyers. <laughs> Conyers is not Atlanta. But I be in Atlanta. Oh, I be yes, outside. Yes, I be outside. outside. Yeah. I, I actually saw it on uh, TikTok or something like that. Mm, okay. It was like a little flower festival. Aww. But yeah, I've just been trying to find joy in the little things in life. Enjoy little moments. Um, spend time with more people that like I actually care about. Like being mm. intentional. Um, so things are looking pretty good for me. Good. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. How's life, Kels? How's life, sis? <laughs> um, season of elevation, man. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, we making money. We getting back into the groove of certain things. Getting out of the groove of certain things. And there are certain things that I don't want to speak on that we are healing within and without. Mm -hmm. That's right. Really um, nice to put. This is the quarter of therapy. Mm. I start next week and I'm okay. excited. I'm excited. Hey. With you, I'm excited. Girl, I'm You're supposed to be each other scared because there are certain things that I just know that I'm probably never going to be ready to talk about. Mm. But my sister, my younger sister, shout out to Sid, she was like, yeah, you're not going to be ready. That's You just need to do it. Yeah. You just yeah. need to talk mm. about it. Um, you know, healing in my relationship, um, growing in my relationship, growing in my relationship with God. Mm. Me and my mom are hanging out more. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I've been stretching more. I got this app called Stretch It. Sponsor me. Um, you did tell me about that. Yeah, man. And I've been be able to hit the splits. Yeah, like thirty day challenge, okay. bro. All right. And it's it's oh, been helping you. with my because I haven't been dancing as much because I haven't had money to train. Mm. So now that I have mm. money to train. Yeah, mm. it's a blessing. But I love yeah. how like yeah. even if you don't have money to train, you still have like you can still work on something. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's so, like even if you aren't taking classes, like you're yeah working out, yeah. stretching, like those Always are still things out. that will help. You know, I lost seven pounds. Yeah, oh, come yeah. on, I lost seven pounds from eating healthy, and yeah. I've been I lost feeling seven from so much eating. better. Still need to get some sleep because I still be waking up cranky, but um. Not as cranky. Yeah. Improvement. Mm -hmm. Improvement. I need to, one thing we're working on is not drinking so much coffee and that's mm. going to be hard because I'm pretty sure I have a caffeine addiction, addiction, but. Try herbal teas. Yeah, we're going to try. Try, try like, yeah. herbal march. I just need something that's actually going to keep me up. Celsius. Because. That's so bad for you. That's what I was say, isn't yes. it? Like, I thought that's, it was like zero calorie. That's like what's in Red Bull. That shit wouldn't It's still your carbonated. Car. I know uh, that. Please. Sorry. Okay. We'll talk about that later. <sighs> Celsius is bad for you. Never mind then. We doing good. <laughs> <laughs> but that was good, beautiful, Kelsey. Basically, yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't drink that. Well, I'm not gonna say that because they might sponsor us one day. You gotta let us know how your therapy session yes. goes. Oh yeah, please please do. And I if you recommend a therapist to us, bitch, we. Can. I have a website. And please, if you in Atlanta, Atlanta, drop it in the chat. I need a therapist. You can. If you in Atlanta out there, podcaster people listen. Drop if you got some suggestions, drop it. There's okay. this website. You can filter about what you're going through. Mm. Woman, African American, Native American, all of that. What's it called? I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna, I forgot the name. I got the link though, and I'm gonna send it to y'all. Okay, to yeah. please. Yeah. Cause we all need to just heal our minds, yeah, our bodies, sure. and our souls, and also, you know, be one with a higher source. Mm -hmm. Period. Jesus. Well, but um, I don't know what y'all believe in, but I'm gonna say Jesus, cause I love me some Jesus. Jesus. I love Jesus, and I love God. Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I love myself and I love y'all. Hello. Aww. Period. Love you too, sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Gabby can only do like <laughs> I can only two do seconds of my she good shit. Yeah, season, it's so. really, we're, you know, we're working I'm happy with that. She's been on with a cringe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for um, tuning in guys thanks for tuning in glad to hear that you know my sisters y'all are doing well and everything thank you guys for listening and being consistent with following our journey we are halfway through the season so we hope you guys are liking it so far leave us comments provide us with feedback suggestions anything in between but interact yeah engage till next that. time stay weird 
Yeah, weirdos. Close your legs to marry the man. Think of a name for our fan base. I'll what say weirdos. weirdos. It's weirdos for me. What's up, weirdos? What's up? Since day one. Yeah. Weirdos. Uh, weirdos and weird hoes. Cut the cameras. 